much. Hello and welcome to the Danny Nong Basketball Stadium. We've got Texas Longhorns in the building here tonight to play against the Danny Nong Rangers. My name is Matt Hickey and I'm joined by Ash Arnott, former or coach just come back from Grand Canyon University under Dan Marley and ex Seabulls player Ash. Welcome to the broadcast, mate. Thanks for having me, Matt. I'm pumped to be here and hopefully we've got a great game in store for us tonight. Very exciting affair. There's an excitement around the stadium. Uh, some big name players coming here from Texas and potentially a third number one draft pick to come and visit our shores to play basketball. Muhammad Bumba, that's the man that everybody's keeping an eye out on, Ash. I'll tell you what, he is a big boy. Just looking at his wingspan and the size of his hands, um, the kids in the stands have probably never seen a 18 year old that big with such a big wingspan so an exciting exciting times tonight to see what he can uh, deliver for the crowd here eight foot wingspan is what i'm reading eight foot for a guy who's six foot eleven and eight foot wingspan and as you said his hands are ginormous they make the basketball look like a tennis ball to be honest well there there's not much of him but i'm told uh by the strength and conditioning coach that he's put on about 20 pounds since entering the campus six weeks ago so it's pretty scary to think what they're going to do after a year if he's already put on 22 pounds so for the australians listen that's probably around six seven kilos in six weeks and that's a muscle that is a lot of weight being put on there from mo bumba and a quick g'day to uh anybody joining us from the states or from texas we uh hope you enjoy the broadcast what can we expect out of the rangers they've got a uh, Sable semi-final uh, preliminary final sorry on uh, friday over in Tasmania, uh, I, you'd assume the minutes are going to get shared around. Yeah, Darren's normally pretty good in these exhibition games, sharing the minutes. But with this Danong team, we're looking at a lot of ex-college uh, players. So they know they've played against this type of size, this type of talent. Um, so even though there will be shared minutes, every person that subs on is going to give their best tonight. They want to showcase in front of this great crowd as well. And uh, most of these kids played it at a mid-major or a low-major Division One, so this is their little chance to prove a point that they were good enough as well. So even though we shared minutes, I think we're in for a good game. Most definitely, and this is Texas's fourth day uh, in Australia and their first game of the tour. Uh, at halftime, feel free to uh, hang around. We'll have Steve Blakely, who is helping run uh, the tour here for Texas. He's their go-to man here in Australia at the moment. Um, so yes, tomorrow night they'll play Melbourne United at Nutterwani Basketball Stadium and then throughout the week they'll play Cairns and then Illawarra. So this is the only Siebel team they will play. Are we expecting any rust out of Texas? Of course, they probably haven't got a massive opportunity to train due to the uh, NCAA legislations and rules. And it's their first game coming off what is understandably probably some jet lag. Well, so, absolutely. They got off the, the plane yesterday down, straight to Camberwell Grammar for a two-hour session. They weren't taped. They uh, they trained in their runners, and that still didn't stop them. They went hard. Uh, Coach Shaka Smart was all over them. They were practicing their famous 2-2-1 two, two, press, and uh, they've had, I believe, two weeks to prepare on court for this trip. Uh, from the words of Coach Smart, this is a tryout for them. So it's a, it's a fresh plate. Everyone's got to prove themselves for this year. They've got five incoming freshmen. Four of them were top 100 recruits and uh, in the ESPN list. So plenty of talent, and they're going to roll the balls out tonight and see who wants to get the minutes. Very exciting, especially considering that uh, last year they didn't make the NCAA tournament, so they'll be hungry, no doubt, about that. We're just getting ready for tip-off. The teams will make their way out in uh, not too long at all. An interesting fact that uh, if you watched anything on Texas Basketball on their Twitter, they posted a video that uh, the players all had an Australian culture lesson before they came. They had a quick unit uh, at university about Australian culture, getting a quick rundown from a professor over there. I wonder if any of them have tasted Vegemite yet. <laughs> oh, well, we would know because they'd be talking about it. But I actually saw the same video, and I believe they're getting a one year to class out of it. I think so as well. So the uh, professors down in Texas have uh, been quite smart in giving their uh, athletes a chance to, to at least get some credit for their, this tour. Um, I believe they've got to write a journal. So for the Danum fans, They'll probably be hoping that in their journal they'll be writing that this was a loss and a tough game. Um, but for the Texas fans, I'm sure they're hoping that they're, they're knocking down a win and getting uh, the 2017-18 season started the right way. Very well put indeed from you there, Ash. So 
We're just waiting for the Longhorns to make their way out here. So if you're wondering who, uh, what number Mo Bamba is, is the gigantic, yes I said gigantic number four. So for Texas, we've got number one, Andrew Jones starting, number two, Matt Coleman, number four, Muhammad Bamba, number 12, Kerwin Roach the second, and number 21, oh, Dylan Osikowski. And for the other fans, keep an eye out for number one, Andrew Johns. He was considered a first round draft pick. He was projected to go. Um, but he decided to come back and complete his sophomore year for Texas, so he should provide some exciting highlights tonight. So we're about to get underway. Good luck in that tip, <laughs> and no surprises there as Bumba wins it, and they are away. Double on ball screen set. Flick alley-oop up to Bumba. He hits the floor. They look to go to him straight away, and I think it will be a foul on Tim Lang inside. They wanted that exciting play to start. They were straight for the alley-oop lob for Bumba, uh, but Tim Lang just said, welcome to Australia with a nice shove in the back. Lang's not happy about it either. I was getting excited. I was already out of my chair, but I'll just have to sit back down and wait. I'm sure the it'll happen. Was. <laughs> so inbound play. They were practicing these before, and there it is again, but it doesn't go. Away come transition. Danny Nong and a steal straight away. Zodokowski comes away. Finally gets a handle of the ball. Three on two. Bang! If you don't mind, there was the excitement we were looking for. Kerwin Roach, the second, goes bang. Straight down the other end. That'll frustrate the coach. Chancey all replies. And we're already excited here at Deenong Basketball Stadium. In the famous words of BT, boy, oh boy. <laughs> well, we indeed, as we see Bumba, he can stretch the floor as well, hits the three. And there's that 2-2-1 press you were talking about. Yeah, Coach Shaka Smart is famous for the Havoc defense. It's a 2-2-1 press, and they've gone straight into it. They were working on this off the plane yesterday, and I expect them to run that for most of the game. A lot of, lot of pressure. They want a trap, a blind trap, so it's coming from behind. So they're looking for steals and live ball turnovers here. As we see Lang with the ball at the top, kicks over to the wing. Josh Oswald gave it back down the baseline. Tough step back jumper, that's short. Lang gets the offensive rebound and they'll reset. Quick reminder to all those watching potentially from America, they are playing with the 24 second shot clock FIBA rules. It resets to 14 off an offensive rebound as Texas come away. There it is. It didn't take long. They had three attempts. Third time is the charm, Ash. I get a feeling they're really going for Bumba here. Uh, four plays, three lobs for Bumba. And just look at the energy on the bench from Texas. This is not just a friendly. They are taking things very seriously as the triple is short. And away come Texas. Good handle shown there. As we see Andrew Jones running the point. Still manages to hold on to it. Corner ball. Left hand three pointers off that time from Matt Coleman. The advantage Tim Lang has against Bumba is that size. Tim Lang is a big boy. Speaking and of, probably not the, the shot three. he wanted. As they come back down the other way, a couple turnovers back and forth. Floater is off. It'll bounce back out. And another turnover. So a bit sloppy from both teams. There has been some excitement early though. I like that Dan Nong's going at him. Uh, they could probably take a few better shot selections there, but they're attacking. As we see, the three-point shot from Dylan Osikowski. Dylan, Dylan's a transfer from Tulane. He was one of the top front court transfers uh, a year ago. He's just sat out the last year with Texas, and he's looking to make his mark. But sitting on the sidelines, he wants to get going and get this year off to a good start. Very solid unit as well as we see a charge drawn, and it'll be Texas ball. They have flown out of the gates here, 10 to two, after two and a half minutes, and you see some substitutions on the floor, and a timeout, in fact, to Dandenong. Thoughts on the first two and a half minutes? It's been hectic, Ash. They are making their presence felt. They've they got hands in the lanes, their, bo their bodies are everywhere, they're athletic, they're doing a great job. But when that ball swung, those bodies are moving defensively. Uh, Danny Nong has to take the open shot straight away. And, and they've been attacking Danny Nong, but some of the shots, they haven't been balanced. They probably haven't been the right shot. I'm sure Darren's talking about that in their timeout. It's exciting for the Rangers players as well, coming up against such a quality opposition. There's some big names heading into potentially the NBA. Absolutely. Well, with, with Andrew Johnson and Muhammad Bumba more than likely probably going to uh, the NBA next year, 
uh, this is a great chance. In Australia, they only see athleticism and size like this, maybe in one person in every team. Now they're seeing four to five on the court at the same time. So it's a different feel for them, but it's a great experience as well. In, in 10 years' time, they may say they had the chance to play against Mohamed Bamba when he was 18. And have a look at him. He's sure impressing this already. <laughs> Very aggressive start indeed from Bamba. The what? Rangers will need to implement their physicality, you would think, although the Texas bodies are still pretty big. Well, he's gone with the same five. It's, uh, it's our senior unit here, a lot of solid bodies. Uh, all five have completed four to five years of college. Um, so experience, hopefully they can get him back into the game. So Bumba has had a rest. In comes Jericho Sims, right, number 20, the guarding the ball. Another top 100 re recruit there, Matty, was ranked 65, uh, 65th in the nation. Um, so they're expecting a lot of things out of him as well. So it'll eventually be Texas ball. And just slowing things down here, it's been a hectic start. Coach Smart probably looking to get them through their sets here as that's a low post feed. Great positioning from Osikowski. And that was just a bit too easy. That was a great seal, hands up, used his body well. As he gets the steal from that press and Tim Langfowls, that's his second. And just a bit sloppy from the Rangers. They really need to tighten things out or this could get ugly very quick. Just the energy Texas is bringing in. It's in your face pressure. It's, uh, it's causing a little bit of trouble. Darren's now gone to his bench. It's like Big Gibby. Big Liam Gibkiss is coming in to uh, handle number, number 21. He's in for a long night. <laughs> could very well be. Osikowski looks like a grown man. Well, he probably is, but he is a big, big unit. He's a big boy. He'll head to the line to shoot two and, and nails the first. For the size of him, he has great touch. That free throw shot there, the technique's perfect. Great, great touch, and that was a beautiful shot. He lines up for the second, just to put it to 12. And we didn't put the Mickey on him either, which is surprising early on in the hoping, game. Yeah. <laughs> so away come Dean on this pressure up again from Texas. It's been good so far. It's just rushed Dean on a little bit. Lovely move, but he just couldn't finish on the inside there. Back up and in that time from your man, Liam Gibkiss. He's a big body. He's, uh, he's a little unorthodox, but that's going to catch Texas off guard a little bit, just like that. Just a little shot fake is going to get him up in the air. He's lost at Kowski, back towards the top. Down at a nine on the shot clock. This will be interesting for Texas. They're not used to playing with such a limited shot clock. They did practice briefly. Down a three, they have to get a shot up. And no score. You would think it was a good look, but once again, just not used to that shorter shot clock. Probably lucky for the 24 shot clock right there, Danny Nong. Uh, they just stopped in that last second, and that could have that could have been a little bit painful if they made that layup. So stepping on to the court is Jace Febris. You'll notice that Texas doesn't trap up the court. They only trap from the sides. So you'll see from those forwards, from that, that second line of the press, there'll be a hedge or a stunt, what they call in America. Um, and we'll try and make, it, make that pass. But they'll never come trapping from that second line. Corner triples off. Great. Push for the rebound. Tough shot inside once again. Liam Gibkiss. He's Gibby. come on. He's enjoying it. My man Gibby. He's getting it done. He's saying, Darren, give me some minutes this week. <laughs> Quick ball movement. There he is. Osikowski. Bang. If you don't mind. And he's off to an absolute flyer at this point. I'm just loving Matt. His size, his touch. He's got a great feel for the game. And his energy. He's coming off. He's played about three minutes but they were a hard three minutes. He heads to the bench, very impressive indeed from him. He's already up to 10 points of their 17. So here we go, watch the trap coming from the other side, doesn't come off that time, but they do tap the ball out of bounds, taking some minutes, uh, seconds off the shot clock, I should this say. Young, this young backcourt can't be catching that ball too low. That's where, they, that's where Texas wants you to catch the ball so they can trap that. They need to catch it high and they need to do a better job getting open. Low ball for Jared Jackson. Tough shot. Tip in again. My man Gibby. Your man. Liam Gibkiss. Have a look at him. 
He's loving it out there. He's bringing the juice, I'll tell you that. <laughs> As we see a pull-up triple, that was just too easy again from Jace Febris. And now the pressure straight back to Danny Nong. That pressure's just staying up. Making them earn everything as we see Declan Suga come down with the ball. And he went without it on that occasion. Drove baseline well, but went without it. When you're trying to get into the game, those unforced turnovers, they really hurt. They really hurt. Danon gets that needs to get that momentum back. It needs to start at the defensive end. They are getting good shots. They're not falling right now, but they need stops. They should be aiming for three stops right now. Shaka Smart really utilizing his bench as we expected. And away come the Longhorns. Looking to set things up now. On ball screen, no high post entry. Bit of a tip ball, they can come away with it now. On ball screen there, attacking the paint. Kick off, drive, looked like there was a hand in there. Got to get a shot up, they do. Offensive rebound comes for Jericho Sims, but it was a foul as Jace Febris. He's brought the energy off the bench number 13. He had, well, let's let's be honest, the whole team is brought energy <laughs> right up. now. Even the coaching staff, they're very up and about. It doesn't matter who subs in, they're just getting a ton of energy. The foul count's 4-0 right now, so the physicality of the Texas boys are really troubling the bigs for Danny Nock. Febris, one of those freshmen that we've been talking about. So the shot clock resets to 14. Let's see what they do out of this. Some confusion on the court for the Longhorns. Down to five on the shot clock, four, three, hop step, kick out, triple. That's going to be short. It was blocked. And we see a shot clock violation, another one. So that's two. And we'll see how many they're going to end up with by the end of the game. What they're doing, though, is they're moving the ball quite well. Uh, I think, guys, they're getting good shots. They are a second off, but when they go back to college, these are going to be great basketball plays. So we see Marley Biondolo bring the ball up for Danny Nong. Marley's doing a better job getting open, using his body to his advantage. Great backdoor cut, Jackson. Great move and a great finish. He almost faked out the entire Texas team on that occasion. So a 10-point ball game, four minutes to play now. Kicking across the top, and again, that ball movement that you talked about, Ash. Yeah, that ball's swinging, bodies, uh, bodies are moving, the ball's moving. And they're getting momentum shots. Offense is looking good for Texas. Jackson pushing up the ball. They managed to stop it. And there's a turnover. Another sloppy one from Danny Nong. Right now, the advantage for Liam Gibkiss is in the paint. Garrett Jackson has to know who he's passing to at the top of the key. Liam had no idea. And, and, and it turns into a turnover. So we see Bumba number four step back onto the floor. And now Dean I'm looking to go back into a bit of a 2-3 zone here. Yeah, Darren's famous for changing up his defences. He loves the 2-3 zone. It does work for him. It's pretty active, so let's see how it works out from now. Ball at the top with Bumba. Has already hit one three-pointer. Happy to play the point guard role. There it is again. Not on this occasion. Great follow, but couldn't go. And coming down with the rebound on that occasion was Felix von Hoff. Happy to bring the ball down the court as well. There's a slight double team, great cut. Oh, brilliant, up and under. Million dollar move, million dollar finish, Marley Biondolo. They're making great moves now, Danny Nong. They're being aggressive and taking the right shot. As we see a good attack to the basket from double zero, James Banks the third. I was, oh, I was just about to say, it's been a while since the uh, uh, Biondolo brothers have been on the court together. Darren's just taken out Marley. He's had great minutes right, uh, right now. He's, he's brought energy off the bench, and that's what he's going to want from him all night. So it'll be Kerwin Roach, the second. I feel like I need to add a second or a third to my name. Do you reckon? So much cooler. <laughs> Texas will get the ball back. And there's just some confusion inside the paint, I think. Our oh, bands on the arm, that a time with James Banks. Yeah, no accessories in FIBA basketball, is <laughs> there, Matt? No flair. Nah, we don't allow that one. So kick baseline, great find, left-hand corner triple is good from Jacob Young. Bit too easy. I'm loving that every time that ball moves, Texas is ready to shoot. They are down the stance, hands ready, and that's why their shots are dropping right now. Textbook stuff from Texas, the fell on Bumber on that occasion. Bit too eager on the uh, defensive pressure. 
Three minutes to play. What can we expect out of this, do you reckon, Ash? Hopefully the, the, the bench guys give good minutes here. We've got a couple of young kids on in Michael Wern, who, uh, who just left Eastern Washington. Uh, now I'm moving to St. Rose. So hopefully he can give us Dan on some good minutes. And Nadia Odigi uh, might know his brother, Owen Odigi. Costly turnover there. Upstairs. There's a highlight for you. Bang. Andrew Jones getting upstairs for the two-handed alley -oop flush. And uh, just maybe giving a little bit to Wern afterwards as well. Yeah, that's a tough punishment. If you're going to throw a cross-court pass against athletes like this, you're in a bit of trouble. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to make a highlight out of you. Not so good for the Rangers. Good for everybody watching, though, as we see an off triple, but a great rebound from Biondolo. There's Odigi. No good. Bumba with the rebound, and the foul is drawn. Odigi, one of those really hustle players for Dan Inung, isn't he? Yeah, he gets everywhere defensively. That's uh, that's one of his advantages. He's uh, he's a lockdown defender. He can be very aggressive. I think for the for the first time in a while, he's seen some athletes with his size and, uh, and athletic ability. So in the bonus, Texas, at the moment, it should be two bonus, five team fouls for Danny Nong. As we get to see how Mo Bumba will go from the free throw line. Absolute specimen. We can't say it enough. We might sound a bit like a broken record, but seeing him up close and personal, it is astonishing. It really is. And just like uh, Dylan, he has great touch, great shot technique, plenty to work with right there. Yeah, bang, bang. NBA scouts are licking their lips right now. No doubt about that. So Wern will bring the ball up as his double team comes away with it, though. And now Dean will have a chance to set things up. Just a tick over two minutes on the clock. Screen doesn't come. Now it does. Pull up three is way off. Out of bounds and probably not the offense that Perry was looking for. When the pressure's like that, you're looking to try and get the shot off any way you can. Dan Ong does look rushed offensively now. Uh, they've got two minutes left. Slow it down. Try and get the right shots here. Intimidating seeing those athletes underneath the basket. Brave man to take it inside, that's for sure. There's Bumba with the mid-range jumper. Looked confident on that, but it was off. Great footwork down the stance, forward pivot right there. This guy can do everything. So a double on-ball screen. Ripping baseline now, getting baseline. Kick to the top. There's Odigi. Pulls the trigger from three. Not a bad look, but Bumba just sticks out those inspector gadget arms and grabs it. Pull up triple. Not quite. Bumba there again. He couldn't grab onto it, and Odigi will come away. Juicy. For Danny Nong right there, tried to use his physicality, but I think he forgot about his eight-foot wingspan. <laughs> Those go-go gadget arms just went up, and bang, collected that ball. So Gibkus has put in some good minutes. Great pass to Odigi. It looked like a big block, but there was also a lot of body. Great pass from the big man. The big man who's your man, Liam Gibkus. <laughs> Gibby, just getting it done right now. He's putting in some big minutes. Obviously, Tim Lang's got the two early fouls. So he's going to need to step up here, and those are the dimes we like to see from Danny Nock. He has six points and three rebounds already, and those three rebounds have been offensive board, so impressive stats from Liam Gibkiss. And against these big boys, we should count them as, uh, as double rebounds. Double. <laughs> they may be hoping that they can get double points at this point. They'd still be behind, but it would be nice. <laughs> I just don't think they were expecting this type of pressure out from the get-go. So Odigi to the line, nails the first. The Rangers will really have to take advantage of any opportunity they can get from the strike. So a minute 12 left on the clock. Odigi nails the second, and it's back to a 13-point ball game. Quickly down the court. Danny on court napping, and Texas get the score back almost immediately, plus one with Andrew Jones. That's tough to guard. That's tough to guard. If you don't have that ball pressure and, and be able to keep the man in front of you in that backcourt, well, makes it hard for your uh, help defenders there. So Wern coming off the double pick. Odigi cuts back door. Nothing doing. Down to four on the shot clock. Wern goes to the basket. Good finish. Great move by the young fella. Aggressive, tough. And just the floor wipe is about to get their uh, 15 seconds of fame. As we say, almost a platoon swap for the Rangers. 
Big Tim Lang's on. He's got two fouls. Hopefully he can stay out of foul trouble here. Or I'm gonna have to put my man Gibby back on the court. He should be walking past Coach Perry right now, going, Coach, I'm ready. Check Coach, stats, I am Coach. ready. Check the stats. So 41 seconds. Two three zones still for Danny Nong. As we see, uh, Dylan Osikowski is helping out with the floor. I think he does it all this boy. I noticed that Texas has gone through their bench twice already. Everyone getting even minutes, and I, I imagine that's why they keep the intensity high. It is a, a very fast-paced game through this first quarter. So still in the zone for Danny Nong, although the three-point shooting has been pretty good from the Longhorns. Great cut, corner, just fumbled, but the pass fake, triple, if you don't mind. Thank you very much, Kerwin Roach. Again, every Texas player on the catch is ready to shoot or drive. Fantastic to watch. Great transition offense, though, from Dean on. They couldn't finish. And a lovely move that time from Matt Coleman. Now down to eight seconds, and Dean on need to get the ball in and quickly get off a shot. Little in and out dribble was nice, too. Got to get the shot up. Let's it fly. Would be nice for the Rangers, but it's no good. And through a quarter of play, it is the Texas Longhorns who've come out firing 35 to 16. How have you seen the first quarter at Arnold? Pressure, pressure, pressure. That is what the Longhorns are bringing right now. And, and Dan, I'm just having a look at them in their time out. They are they're breathing heavy. They're looking around at each other going, well, we <laughs> what just happened? Who are, who are these guys? And I tell you, Texas is not playing like a team that finished last in the Big 12 last year. This is a new look team, and I tell you what, they are going to be an exciting team to watch this year. No doubt about it. Very impressive. So we will uh, quickly run through some stats for you. As we said, 35 to 16 in the Longhorns' favour. They managed to get to the line on a number of occasions and shot the ball very well from distance. So for the Texas Longhorns, we've seen a couple of great players. There's no doubt about that. Dylan Osikowski has 10 points early. Mo Bumba has seven with two boards. Andrew Jones, five. And they've managed to shoot the ball seven of 13 from deep. That is impressive. Very impressive. But I'm just looking here, Matt. The key stat for me already, Texas with nine assists and only one turnover, where Danny Nong has only three assists and they've got six turnovers. And I reckon five of those turnovers have been live ball turnovers, which is allowing Texas to put the highlight reel on at the offensive end. So in that time out, I believe Darren would be talking about, let's slow the game down a little bit. We know the pressure's coming. Let's get to the gaps, make the right pass, and we'll attack from there. They can't be catching the ball so low uh, in that backcourt because that's where Texas wants that ball. They want to trap you in the corner using the sideline, the baseline as another defender. Yeah, transition uh, point's very dangerous. Very dangerous right now. And hopefully Big Tim Lane can make his physicality uh, felt without giving up some fouls. I, I did like the first foul when they went for the uh, alley-oop and he, he gave him a little bump and said, welcome to Australia, but the second foul after that, it was too quick. Especially uh, with the size, they need him out there. They need, yeah, and I'm noticing Bumba, he's struggling a little bit with the physicality, but when you have that eight-foot wingspan, you don't really have to get too physical when you, when you stick those long arms out like that. Eight-foot wingspan is ridiculous. Some stats for the Rangers. Liam Gibb, because your man actually has six points, three offensive boards, and then a couple of other scorers showing two here and there. So 35 to 16. Now, have you ever seen so many people involved in a timeout that we just saw from Texas there? Well, you're probably looking at over there, you've got the ops guy, director of operations, sitting at the end of the bench. Uh, more than likely a special assistant to the head coach is sitting next to him. You have a couple of assistants in the middle, another assistant at the end, a couple of walk-ons at the very end of the bench, your strength and conditioning coach. You've got everyone here. They've brought the whole, they've brought the whole crew out. I reckon if I slipped on a Texas shirt, I might be able to just slip onto the end of the bench. Who knows? <laughs> so the second quarter is underway. Danny Nong will kick us off. They trail by 19 points already. And the pressure's still on. Trying to up fake and hopefully get him out of position was ch chancy all, but it didn't happen. Again, live ball turnover, and they're on the attack. Osikowski kicks to the corner. That is wide open. Left-hand triple is good. Thank you very much, Matt Coleman. Coleman, ready to shoot. Great follow-through. Is there any surprise that it went in? As we see, a mid-court foul. 
and tell an you, early one for Texas. Tell you what, Matt, we need a bit of Jordan Page special here from Saturday night. The 20 points he dropped there. He had step backs, some amazing assists. We need that in the next couple of minutes. And some very clutch baskets, as I, very as I saw. Very clutch, very clutch. Hopefully it gets to that point for Danny Nong, but at this point they've got a long way to go. Great cut across the top of the key and a good finish from Josh Oswald. That's that special play we need from Geordie Page. Great pass, right past the ears. Nice crossover, trying to put the sauce on, not quite. Loose ball, Texas come up with it. Corner, triple again. Not quite on that occasion, a good rebound from all. Dan on can't afford those second chance opportunities. When they get that loose ball, they've got to come up with it. So the handoff, not quite on that occasion from Page. And the Longhorns come away with it. Osikowski does it all. It's tough when you power forward, start the break. And the size of him as well. Can't allow the baseline. That was a bit too easy. Extra pass. A little up and under the floater. Not quite the good touch. And Jackson comes away with the ball. Big Tim Lang trying to use his body in the post there. Just put him in the weight room then. Chancey Orr just backed down and scored with ease. Chancey Orr's coming off five years in a college program. His first four at Bowling Green and then finished at Division II School, Hawaii Pacific. In his first year of pro, that's the little things he's starting to learn. Use your weight, get into the paint, use that fancy footwork, and that was a great finish by him there. Has the chance to cut the lead back to 17 points as we see Texas setting up for this transition play. Yeah, you'll notice his, uh, Coach Smart has put his two shooters in the corner. They're going to now attack and going to force Danong to defend that transition. They're ready to shoot. Danong did a good job there of pulling up the ball. Osikowski, extra pass. Once again, this corner triple is good. That time from Andrew Jones, and it's just a bit too easy from the perimeter. Yeah, they're running that 1-3-1 zone, and that ball is making too many straight line passes, making it harder for defense to rotate. There's Page, couldn't answer back. Good challenge from the rebound, and it'll be Texas ball. Danong needs to get three stops in a row here. It starts on the defensive end. The threes are momentum shots. They're not contested. Uh, something needs to change defensively. So a 20-point ball game. Just over two minutes gone here in the second quarter. Texas doing it in transition, but also in the half court. Working this zone around. There's once again in this corner. Surely not again. Osikowski tried to put it back from a mile away. Not quite. Offensive rebound comes up. Put back again. Look at the hustle. And two points to Febris. Right now, Texas is ticking all the boxes. Coach Smart will be absolutely pleased with the energy and the mindset attacking those offensive rebounds. What do you think uh, Coach Berry can do to try and combat what Texas is dishing out? Hopefully there's a, uh, a big seven-footer sitting in the crowd uh, with college experience and a projected NBA player. That'll help right now. I'll let you know if I find him. I'm not liking our chances for some reason. It's, uh, it's tough to break. Every time we get maybe two baskets in a row, Texas is coming down with a dagger. These corner threes are absolutely killing us. I can see why Spurs and Popovich love that corner three. It's been very effective for Texas right now. As you see, the umpire just making sure that Texas don't come over the line. It's Jericho Sim. She's just having a chat to there, making sure she doesn't come, he doesn't come over the line on the inbounds play. Tim Lang with the ball, Jackson left hand, not quite, and away come the Longhorns. It's a great take by Jackson. Once again, three more, bang, bang, bang. Febris goes again. Coach Smart's on his boys, they weren't up in that press in that 2-2-1 Havoc defense, and he's not happy on the, on the sideline right there. Waving his arms about indeed, Shaka Smart, he looks like he's about to run under the floor. He may bring more seconds. energy than the uh, players right now. He's very up and about as we see the three miss from Lang. Can Texas hit again from distance? Oh, somebody's got to close out on oh, that man. Right there, Febris goes three more. Perry can't believe it. It is a three-point barrage at this point. Listen, Matt, it's a bold strategy when you're going to let him shoot through his all game. Uh, this is quite a show they're putting on. But the most impressive thing is, even though they are up, what is that? 28 points. 28 points. 
Mike, sorry, I went in shock as I looked at the scoreboard there for a second. Even though they are up 28 points, they have not taken that foot off the pedal and offensively they catch that ball in a stance. They're ready to go. They're on the attack. They're, they're penetrating, not to get theirs, but maybe to get someone else open. They're making the one more pass and that ball is skipping to that corner three beautifully. Momentum shot. And every time you see one of these Texas players shoot, they've caught in a stance, hands are ready, and their follow through has been perfect. They've held it up and that ball is going through the net for them. And it's really a, an example of the bench depth because they've done it with a number of different combinations on the floor. Every player that stepped onto the court tonight for Texas has, has made an impact. For Danny Nong right now, they just need to see the ball go through the hole. They've got 21 points in, in 14 minutes of basketball. They just need to see that ball go through. When they start to see the ball go through regularly, the confidence will start to build and the shots will get better. Right now, they're just, they're just trying to get a shot wherever they can. So Jace Febris, number 13, he's up to eight points, and I guarantee you he does not get an open look the next time down the floor. I hope not. I hope we make the adjustment right now. So once again, up court pressure here from Texas, making the Rangers work for it. Vindolo comes away, though. Looking to set things up now. Lane sets an off-ball pick, then he gets it back. Hand off. Vindolo looking at for it down low. Jackson with the pull up. That, that was, was great offense. Great execution by Danny Nong right there. Just what you want to see out of a timeout as well if you are in the coaching staff. So back to a man to man now for the Rangers. See what the Longhorns dish up, whether they can deal with the change. Not on that occasion. Jackson comes away and dishes up a highlight of his own. Potentially, here come the Rangers. Need another stop here. Danny Nong needs another stop. We're aiming for three in a row and put the ball in the hole down the other end. Then the confidence builds, the momentum builds. So ball at the top now, a couple of handoffs, down to 10 on the shot clock, on ball screen, dancing up and under, floating in. How about that from Jacob Young? That's tough to guard. That's all I've got to say. There. That is tough to guard. Great floater right there. So a tick over halfway through the quarter, five and a half minutes to go here in this half. Once again, Jackson looked to get open. Lang extending the range. This time it's good. And he's starting to get in the game. Tim Lang saying, you're not the only big man around here that can shoot. So ball at the top with Sims. Jericho Sims. Back over to the wing. Sims looking to get it at the high post. It's been a two-man game predominantly here in this offensive set. And that will be a blocking pass. You'll notice there, Texas is running a similar offense to what the Warriors were famous for, getting Curry and Thompson into that, that down screen and letting them work out of that. They're pitching the ball back to that big and going to a guard-to-guard -guard pin down screen, and they're working out of that. One curls, one's popping, and then they've got the re-screen with the big. Good offense. You'll notice the weak side exchanging there. They've run it the last three times. I wonder if they're going to go with it one more time. And Sims in that role that Andrew Bogut used to play so very, very well. But so our man Bogut, our man, unbelievable passer. There's the alley -oop. big man, a big man. Couldn't finish with the one hand that occasion from James Banks. Yeah, Bogut, one of the best big man passes that I've ever seen, that's for sure. Jackson with the floater, he's starting to heat up. He's, sta he's starting to show the young boys how it's done. Be aggressive, take the right shot. Good stuff by Garrett there. On ball screen from Osikowski, pull up Jay. It was open again. Guess who? Febris does it again. I've got a feeling you can't go under the ball screen with my man Febris right here. Unbelievable. <laughs> that was a great pull-up jumper there. Lang showing his athleticism. Jackson again and some great ball movement. Basket for basket. Basket is what I'm trying to get out. And Shaka Smart calls a timeout. No surprise there. The coaching staff not happy. Just a little let off, but look at them rip in to their players. Yeah, Coach Smart not happy. With the big fella there, big Dylan. Uh, Gary Jackson starting to have his impact on the game. They won't be happy with that. Now, Coach Smart, formerly from TCU. Uh, VCU, sorry. VCU, VCU yes. Yeah. Virginia Commonwealth. They became famous uh, about, oh, I think it's about eight years ago when he took that team to the Final Four. A mid-major team, that's when they became famous for their Havoc defense. He had a bunch of athletes, and he took good players and made them into great players. 
Uh, he had huge success at VCU. And now he landed the big job at Texas with all the resources he needs. Coming into his third year, I believe. Third year. Had a good first year, but now he's starting to get his recruits into into his team. As you can see, it's a successful summer for him, landing four top 100 recruits for him, uh, them being number four, Mohamed Bamba, the name you keep hearing. Uh, number two, Matt Coleman. He's been showing us his shooting skills. Number 20, Jericho Sims. And look at the size of that freshman. And then last on that list, number five, Royce Ham Jr. He's showing his athleticism tonight as well. So some quality talent coming in uh, for Texas. Again, they're in for a great year. And Coleman and Bumba uh, both played in the FIBA Americas under 18 championships that were coached by Shaka Smart. Potentially the link there that got them over the line here at Texas. Osakowski, that's short. Osakowski, the touch, was, it still looked nice. It still looked nice. The follow through was good, just a little bit short. I think the door's open here with a little bit of a breeze. Come on, the opposite way. One of those ones where it looks real nice out of the hand and then you just realise that you didn't quite put enough on it. And again, that pressure is just still there. The tough physical play, Jackson, great pass. Von Hoff, three points. And the crowd's starting to get into this game because here come the Rangers. That's what Von Hoff does. He, he did it all through his college career and he's been doing it for Danny Nong in his short time here. He just strokes the three. He's beautiful shot. And we're gonna need about four or five of them for him. Nice idea on that occasion from Texas. No good. And this time it's Dean on running transition. Foul called and Jackson will go to the line to shoot two. The foul is on Jacob Young, number three. Those are the defensive efforts we need there for Danny Nong. There was a there was a live turnover there and Marley jumped on that, started the break. And I don't care who you are, guarding Garrett in that full court transition on that fast break, that's gonna be a tough gig for anyone. As we see, five in, five out for Texas on that occasion. I think Smart might have given him an ultimatum heading in out of that timeout. As we see, some of the fans here just trying to have some words with the Texas players. Not much getting in response though. Jackson will shoot two, misses the first. Got a bit of a Texas fan right next to us. He's uh, getting really into the game right now. Jackson will go again now and look to cut it back to a 17 point ball game. Again, Texas with their shooters in the corner starting that break and they're on the attack. Always making it work. Here's Bumba. He's had a pretty prolonged rest. Great drive, baseline. Wild pass over the top on that occasion. From I, think, I think he uh, was. He was thinking that was Bumber in the corner with that eight foot wingspan. Just stick the arms up and bring it in. As we see, Jackson, your man. He does it again. Liam Gibkiss. My man Gibby, short corner. Can't guard him in the paint. Now he's taking your short corner. Loving it. Now he's bringing some physicality to Bumber, too. So a great little duel going in under the paint there as Bumber tried to seal. Couldn't quite get it. Nice crossover, but a slip. And away come the Rangers. Three on one in transition. Great finish. No, not quite from Mitch Riggs. Bumba grabbed the rebound and Texas will come back the other way and it's a tap ball. So a bit like the first quarter, it's a bit loose here. Isn't it, Ash? I'm loving the energy though defensively by Dan, but they've got to make the most of those baskets right there. Mitch Riggs took that hard, great layout, but he's probably expecting one of the big boys from Texas to come and run that down. So just trying to sort out their baseline play here, Texas. They were practicing their inbound plays uh, before the game had started in the lead up in the warm ups. They were running through so a couple of sets. So we'll see how their execution goes on this occasion. Look for the little rescreen for Bumba. And he's just not quite that long. He would have had to be near Ming size. Jackson goes again. And it's back to 13 points, a huge two-hand dunk. And the Rangers fans are enjoying themselves out here. There's a bit of energy, there's a bit of passion. I like it. Garrett Jackson really starting to take over this game. And that hurts. That's the dagger we're talking about. Just as Rangers get that momentum and get it going, that free throw jumper right there, that really hurts. And when Bumba shoots the ball from above his head, what chance are you 
Oh, managing to even challenge that. And Gibby had his hand right there, but he just raised his hand a little bit higher out of Gibby's, uh, Gibby's reach. And beautiful shot there. They're talking about that touch again. He just squared him up, locked in on the ring, and beautiful follow through, and, and the rest was a swish. So 2.11 left to play. Jackson has a chance to cut it to 14 and then 13. It's been a great second half of this second quarter for Danny Knight. Nails the first, chance to go again. So here comes the Longhorns, kick to the corner, up fake, almost ran into us then Von Hoff, not quite. I don't mind that by Von Hoff, running him off the line, making him put the ball on the floor. And back the other way, here come the Rangers, no doubt about game. that. 11 point game, they've drawn it back closer. Under two minutes. So we see Pumba. Good luck managing to catch that guy as he's falling on top of you. It's, it, I'm still in shock how big he is. Look how long those arms are. He's, they're in a huddle right now and his hands literally went all around all, all four players. <laughs> I think uh, the umpire just saw his life flash before his eye briefly as he saw Mumba come crashing down. What I'm liking from Danny Nong right now, it's the younger brigade that's bringing it back. They're, they're now not playing scared. They're on the attack and they're making the right choices. So Bumba misses the first. He said, give me a high five, boys. Come on, get around me. Great, great foul now by uh, Liam Gibkiss there. Making him earn it. That was a guaranteed two points without the foul. Now making him earn it from the, from the line. He nails the second, but... Dandong could cut this lead to single digits by halftime, which would be massive considering at one point they were down by 28 points. Yeah, Coach Chuck Smart's not going to be happy at halftime giving up such a good lead. So Jackson, he's been going to work. Right hand hook is good. It's back to 10 points. Coach Smart looking to his bench. He's, I bet he's asking the question, who wants to guard this guy tonight? <laughs> he's probably getting ready to load up in the change rooms. You would not like to be on the receiving end of the spray that I think Smart might deliver. I think I would like to be a fly on the wall right now. <laughs> Drive baseline was a bit too easy, but once again, getting the hands in, and the Rangers have become aware of those corner triples. That bait, they're also taking that baseline drive away, not allowing them to get two feet in the paint. That was what was hurting them in the first uh, first quarter and the start of the second. Good feed inside, good challenge. And Von Hoff came away with it and he kicked it over to Sukup and they are away and he slips over. And it'll be interesting to see who the ref's gonna give the ball to here because it looked like it was gonna be taken up by Texas, but it's unclear. Garrett Jackson did a great job there contesting that shot. He got a hand in the face. Could have been a little bit a uh, little bit of a hands foul there, but I think Daniel can take all the help they can get right now. <laughs> no doubt about that. It's actually Texas. They've, uh, referees have leveled up the foul count a little bit. Texas are the ones who have five team fouls. Interesting what happened there. Uh, Declan Suko slipped, and the refs actually stopped the game. I, I don't think Coach Smart would be too happy with that. I thought it may have been a jump ball, but they've given it right back to Danny Nong. Great baseline drive from Sukup and one, and it has a chance to cut the game back to seven points. One minute to play in the second quarter. It's been a huge turnaround from the Rangers here. The bench is, uh, with the guidance of Garrett Jackson on the court, the bench has been huge in the second part of the second quarter. Uh, fantastic stuff. It's really happened at the defensive end. They've taken away that moment, that momentum we talked about. When Dean sees the ball going through the hole, that's when the confidence increases. So a big opportunity here for Dean on heading into the major break. There will be one bonus to Sukup. He can cut the lead to seven points. And he does. So let's see how Texas plays out this last minute. Once again, bringing the ball down at a million miles an hour was Matt Coleman. That was fast. That, that was, was fast. Very, that the was shooters weren't fast. even in the corners ready to shoot yet. Bumba at the high post. Thought about that. Oh, and it was a good pass. 
but on that occasion it was Eric Davis that just overran it. Great offense there, they hit the high elbow there and they had the flex cut coming in. Great pass, just fell to his hands. So 40 seconds remaining. Good ball to Jackson on the lob pass. Corner Von Hoff, he's hit one from there. He couldn't go again, Jackson got the hand in. A chance for a two for one. Look out for Bumbo as he tried to get the low post seal. I think everybody was getting ready for an alley-oop, but it didn't come. He wants it. He's saying, give me that ball. He's going to work. Great jab step. Good looking shot, but not quite. That was a great play. Good footwork there. Made Juicy go back on his, uh, on his heels. Took the right shot, just didn't go in. So here we go. Eight seconds left. Down to seven. What can Danny Non get? Von Hoff with four, three. Great drive. Get that out of here, said Bumba. And it'll be no score, but a miraculous comeback from Nanny Nong. It was out to as much as 28 points, but they've managed to bring it back to a seven-point ball game, 56 to 49. That's your thoughts so far. Unfortunately for Nanny Nong, they've had to put a lot of minutes in Garrett Jackson. Uh, they do. We, we, we forget they do have a preliminary final this Friday night. So I expect Darren to give uh, Garrett Jackson a bit of a rest this second half. But what it's done now, it's made a, it's made a good game for all the young kids uh, come out to watch this. As we expected, Bumba has made his presence felt. He's been great at the high post. He's making great basketball plays, good footwork, good touch. The one that's impressed me a lot tonight is, and I'm going to mess up his name and I apologise, but Osikowski. Osikowski, that'll do. That'll do. Osikowski, he's really impressed me with his energy off the bench. He's made his physicality felt. He's got great touch. He's knocking down the shots. And then just everybody from Texas is stepping up and playing their role. Uh, each player has had that, that minute to two minutes where they've gone bang, bang, bang. And in that part of that second quarter, we thought it was, this game was already it over. It was going to get ugly for a second there. And then for Danny Nong, I really like how the younger brigade has brought it back. They, were, they got it done defensively, as we talked about. They, they moved bodies to the split line. They got to the help D. They boxed out. They, uh, they didn't give up the Texas those second chance opportunities, which they did in the first quarter. And they really took away that transition bucket. Obviously, there was a, fir a, a few highlight plays in the first quarter. Um, poor Michael Wern got posterized. A, a little bit. bit yeah. A little bit. A little bit. If the, if the photographer was uh, on our angle, um, there'd be a great photo for, for Wernie for the rest of his life to go up on the wall. Kodak moment. But other than that, in the second half, I think if Danny Nock can keep their composure and not allow second chance points, they're in with a bit of a shot. Uh, guys like Felix von Hoff, uh, Mitch Riggs and Jordan Page, who are Danny Nong's three-point shooters, we've only really seen one three from Felix, Felix von Hoff. So if those guys can get hot, and Dino could heat it up for, from behind the arc. We've got a chance here. We might have a game on our hands. We do at this point some half-time stats for everybody uh, tuning in. Dylan Osikowski, he's got 10 points, two steals, two rebounds for the Longhorns. Febris has got 10 points. Bumba's got 10. Andrew Jones with eight. For the Rangers, we've got eight points to Gibkus, Ashes Man, 17 to Jackson with four rebounds and three assists. He is playing out of his skin at this point. Very impressive. So what we're going to do now is just leave you for a little bit as we head to a short break here at halftime. Be ready to join us back in about seven or eight minutes and we'll get right back into the swing of things for the second half.
Hello and welcome back to the second half here at Dandong Basketball Stadium. It's the Rangers versus the Longhorns. Uh, sadly, our halftime chat, Steve Blakely, he got called into the room. They're making him work in there. And uh, the word is that Smart might have dished out a bit of a spray. Yeah, a bit of a spray is fair to say. Uh, by all reports from Steve, um, apparently they've been set a pretty challenging task. That ball for Danny Nong is not to enter the paint in the first three minutes or watch out. Might be a platoon swap, five in, five out. But uh, what Steve was going to talk about was just some of the things that uh, the Longhorns have gotten up to or are going to get up to while they are over here. Um, today, they had a tour of Etihad Stadium. Some of them were lucky enough. They also, you may have seen them at the uh, Queen Vic Market. My uh, four foot 10 grandma probably might have uh, seen Bumba down there, I reckon. Would be interesting to see those two standing next to four, each other. I don't know. I'm four sorry. foot ten, yeah. Probably that's generous. Does she have a sore neck? Yeah, probably. Looking up, that would uh, that would have tested her. That would have been an interesting picture to be taken. Anyways, uh, they have been training at Kimball Grammar, as was mentioned earlier, and uh, they will be playing Melbourne United tomorrow at Nunna. Then on Friday they're off to play Cairns, and then on Monday they are playing Illawarra. If you're looking for any of the uh, the college schedule because there's a number team number of teams coming over you can head to the pick and roll a, a site that I write for as well the pick and roll they've got all your information over there for all your college schedule of games here in Australia and we're off ready to go there just taking a second to get the ball in play there'll be Texas to kick us off what are they going to dish up it's just a seven point ball game here they do have the lead but the Rangers were coming in that second quarter and they've gone with their younger brigade again, Danny Nong. Liking what they dished out. And their veteran leader being Chunty Orr. Mo Bumba with a lovely little soft right-hand hook finish. Very nice indeed. That ball, ball better not touch the paint. We'll wait and see. And oh. there it is. Uh -oh. Kick out to the corner. Odigy not quite. Coach Smart, not much emotion, so they might have got away with one on that occasion. And Coach Morrell, the one of the assistants, is off the bench talking to Shaka. I wonder if he's he's uh, not pleased with that that two foot paint touch right there with Oswald getting to the basket. It hit the paint, Coach Smart. It hit the paint. He's Osakowski. Great up fake. Kicks to the corner. Nice movement, but good hands from Michael Wern, and they'll have 12 on the shot clock, baseline ball. Like you talked about in that second quarter, Danny Nong's really doing a good job now of taking away that baseline penetration and that pass to the corner three. So just taking their time, that's a long five seconds. Ash, were you just checking your, your watch then, mate, to see how long that five seconds yeah, that was? that was a long one. That was a long one. <laughs> Osikowski goes bang from three. Thank you very much. And it's back out to a 12-point ball game. If I'm one of those big 12 opponents, I'm looking at Osikowski and going, how are we going to guard this guy? He does it all. All looking to go to work. Step back. Not quite. Good hustle from Odigi. And anybody who's seen him play, that is his bread and butter. Doesn't quite come up with the ball on that occasion, though. Danny Nong's going away from moving bodies and moving the ball right now. They need to get back to that, make Texas work defensively. So bringing the ball down the court is Matt Coleman, and he draws a foul on Wern, and he's not too pleased about it, Wern. This is the second time a player slipped right in that spot. Might have to go get that checked out. I think that's why uh, I think that's why Michael Fuzzy Wern's a little bit upset. Uh, I think he may have fell right in the same spot, so the floor wiper should be out there, but they're passing on that right now. So a minute and a half gone. The Longhorns with the ball. There's our man Osikowski, maybe a bit of a fend off, and an air ball on that occasion. Bumba hustling, but better from being Dolo. Dribbling the ball down the court, you don't see that very often. Big Juicy starting to learn how to use that frame of his. I like it. I like it from the big fella. On ball screen. Here's Wern. Kick, extra pass, too slow. Odigy back out the top. 
Not quite. That one more was the right pass. It just took too long to get there. Oswald's got to make that pass a little bit quicker, and that's great offense. Jones cross-court pass. Oh, have a look at that. That is Silky from Kerwin Roach the second. Thank you. I'm just going to give a quick shout-out, Matt, to my man Al McCautry out of Diamond Valley, the coaching coordinator out there. He's tuned in and he's listening. Hope That's you're enjoying it, my man. Thank you for tuning in, Al, as we see a three-pointer from Michael Wern. Switch on the ball. Oh, put him in the spin cycle. Left-hand finish. Just a bit of showtime out here. I think Oswald is out on Stodd Road trying to figure out where that <laughs> ball, ball went. Wow, great play there. Wern with the ball. He's looking to start to get going here. Nice bit of work with the ball. Got to get that ball moving. If you draw two defenders, that ball has to make it to the open guy. Down a five. All looking to go to work. Wern's going to have to get it up with two, with one. And that is an air ball. And good pressure from Texas. And the bench like it. That Havoc defense, that Coach Smart defense, was not going to allow Wern to get another three off like that. You see uh, Andrew Johns there. Arms length apart, and it was going to make sure that shot was always contested. Great defense there by the Texas Long Texas Longhorns. So away comes Matt Coleman, once again looking to run the show. A lot of Texas fans hoping that he is going to be the answer at the point guard. Down to 12 on the clock. They've taken some time. See Osikowski looking for Bumba. Not quite. They're going to look for him again with five. He's going to have to go to work. Already took his dribble, wants it back, does get it. Face up, got to shoot it, does. Not quite, Osikowski's everywhere, fighting for the rebound. That is all heart and hustle. Can't allow second chance opportunities to this team again. Third opportunity. This is going to hurt Danny Nong. And a lovely finish inside I see from big, Andrew Johns. Big Juicy is using all his effort at the defensive end. He's starting to blow gas a little bit here. But Big Bumba tried to reseal and then... He, uh, he met that big frame from Juicy. So good good job defensively by Juice. Let's get it done on the offensive end now. Hit a brick wall. As we see, Liam Gibkus looking to check back in your man. Away come Osakowski. And now through Matt Coleman. Wide open three point. Who's playing on that? It doesn't really matter because that is an air ball from Andrew Johns. And the Rangers will push it right back. That spray clearly worked because Texas has lifted the defense. The pressure is up. So and, and they're forcing Danny on to make bad decisions. Good looking pass, but here comes Bumba. Six foot 11, eight foot wingspan, doing it at will. And with a touch like that, what can you do to stop it? He said center, what? <laughs> I'm a point forward, baby. Give me the rock, I will bring it up. Billion Dollar was <laughs> not sure what was going on there. Good luck stopping that at any point. He must be watching Ben Simmons highlights. Maybe uh, former alumni Kevin Durant as well. Oh, very true. Trying to go to work. Great defensive pressure. Jackson with the step back jump shot. Got it. He's feeling it right now. Garrett Jackson doing a great job leading this team. Keeping them in the game. And that's a big shot. Needed to see the ball go through the hole. We keep talking about that. But we cannot allow penetration like that into the basket. That was way too easy for Texas. Matt Coleman does it again. Scoring two up at the hoop. 17 point ball game. Jackson and Osikowski. That's a good battle there. Keep an eye out for that one. Page in the corner. Down to eight. Trying to get that entry pass, but just too long and athletic across the board here, Texas. Oh, how good was that from Matt Coleman? Good luck catching him. He weaves his way through and scores another two. Just like that, seven points turns into a 19 point lead. And here comes the bench for Texas. Page couldn't get it to go. Jackson, he's everywhere. What a great effort from him. Got his shot blocked. Bumba comes away with it. A bit now, stiff there not to get a foul call. Getting a bit aggressive right now. Ooh, that may be a fend-off. Umpires just might chat about it. Did look like a big fend-off. But it is a blocking foul, and it'll be a Texas ball. I'll be honest, Matt, I don't like that call. There was a clear fend-off. He extended the arm. It's our home court. We should be getting home court fouls right there. Give us something is what you're trying give to say. It, I'm saying give us something. The, the, the <laughs> down to 19 points. Garrett did a great job to get in front there. He was stiff not to get the foul at the offensive end. 
Give us something, Mr. Referee. So inbound play. I think they wanted Sims on the oop. Didn't happen. Great crossover, left-hand floater. No good, it was a nice move from Jacob Young, but he didn't have the finish. They're tough to guard, those floaters. That was nice and high, away from the defender's hands. Page just goes bang. He looked at Liam Gibb because he was asking for the ball, and he said, not this time, mate, I'm going to let it fly. We've said this all year. He's instant offense, just add water, and he's here to play now. Hopefully we can get another four to five threes looking like that. Sikowski uses that up fake so well. He decides to go to the floater. Such good touch from a big unit. I know we're here to see Bumba, but Osikowski's putting on a show for all the bigs out there. Be physical, have nice touch, and things happen. So Paige, great finder, Jackson. And both teams really picking it up. This game has gone to another level. So a tick over three minutes here in the third quarter. It's flown by, it's only been two fouls across the board. Osikowski once again being a pivotal part. Sims tried to bury his way inside, loses the ball, gets it back, and now he will go to the line to shoot two. That was tough by Gibby at the last second. He put his hands down, and that's where he gave up that foul. What I love here, Matt, is I know I've been giving him big props, but Osikowski asked for his own sub. That's, that's a player right there that's maximising his minutes on the court. He's giving it his all, and I love it when a player has to turn to his coach and go, I need one because you know they're absolutely working that effort on the courts there. And, and that's the big thing coming out of their camp. The coaches are absolutely pleased with him because as we could, we've seen firsthand, that energy, that, that he's everywhere right now, offensively and defensively. So fantastic to see by the big fella. Will no doubt be a big part of their campaign heading into this season for the Texas Longhorns. So Jericho Sims shooting two. The lead is 16 at the moment for Texas. Make it 17 now. And once again, Dean will have to come up with something to get back into this ball game. Under three minutes to go. Here's Gibkiss. The handoff. Jackson's been excellent. He hasn't seen the ball. The pressure's been great. Now he gets it. Every time he gets it, he's looking to score. Three point shot is no good as we see. Gibkiss hit the ground. Oh, Guess who? Wowie. Great pass. Oh, bit saucy on that. Get it to the shooter. From Biondolo, Von Hoff. Gibkiss is there. He fights against three of them, but doesn't come up with the pill. Great plays. Danny on way to get after that. Second effort shots. I thought Marley Biondolo was going to do something special there. He went up with the one hand. He went under, found the shooter. That was good offense there. And, and Gibkiss and Garrett just creating those second chance opportunities. That's what we need from Danny Nong. We especially need it Friday night against Hobart in their home territory. So I'm liking what I'm seeing. A lot of energy. What do you think uh, Coach Darren Perry is going to do with Jackson heading into this last quarter? He's played a big role. He's had a lot of the ball. He's been made to work for his points. And they've got a big crucial game on Friday. Well, it's, it can go two ways. He keeps him on, and, and all the fans here continue to get the show from Garrett Jackson, or you rest him in that last quarter and prepare him for, uh, for Hobart on Friday night. Let's be honest, they all would have been training tonight. They would have trained for two hours. Uh, their training goes from about, I, I think they go from, eight, yeah, they go from eight till, till 10 o'clock at night. What, what a great hit out for them. They're not, there's no one from Hobart that's going to be able to do some of the things these guys are doing. They're not lining up against Muhammad Bumba. So, in a way, this is a, a great way to prepare for their game Friday night. And I think that's what they'll be doing, trying to work on some of the little things they want to execute Friday night. Be some sort of coup for Tasmanian basketball if Muhammad Bumba fronted up on Friday in the Seagull competition, wouldn't it? Oh, it may, <laughs> absolutely. I was just thinking of yourself, it, it might bankrupt the club. <laughs> And some, and yeah. some. So, but it, the scary part about this is Dan on throwing everything they can at Texas, and I, and I just think Texas may have another gear to go into because they've they've rotated all the guys. We, the crowd has already got enough from Bumba with some of his dunks and some of these other boys, but they've only played about 15 minutes right now. Everyone's getting that even court time, and there still might be some more highlights to come. Agreed on that. Okay. Now, quick question for you, Ash. Have you ever thought about growing out a high-top fade? Seems to be the in-trend haircut. I wish I could. That's why I'm wearing a, uh, a hat right now, because my <laughs> hair just doesn't do what it wants to do. 
So Texas have the ball, tick over two minutes left in the third. Sims with the kick. Coleman, that is a bullet pass into the baseline. That's a tough shot, great defense from Dean and they'll come away with it. One on three, tough ass, Von Hoff. Looking to go baseline, spins, great pass. I beat you to it. You did, that was great offense there. That's exciting to watch. And I love Gibby at the other end being a brick wall. The young, the young freshman there, Royce Ham Jr. Went bang. Gibby said, welcome to Australia again. I love it. So back into the zone for Danny Nong now. Interesting that they've gone into it when Bumba's off the court. But it comes up with a stop there. Jackson, surprise, surprise, is the guy that comes away with the ball. And now they'll look to go and again cut this lead down. Jackson gets it. Crosses to the middle. Right hand shot, no good on that occasion. And away come the Longhorns. I don't mind that shot. He's feeling it right now. Get him the ball. Up and under move, not quite. Gibka's got it. Away to Biondolo. I have been impressed with Marley's game tonight. He's, he's been aggressive. He's brought it. He's getting active defensively. It's a good job by the young fella. Von Hoff misses the three. Like to see him attack the rim just a touch more. Under a minute to play. Ball zipping around as it's done all night for Texas. Coleman looking to go to work. Turnover. Great job from Felix Von Hoff. He's bringing the ball down the court. There we go. Not quite the play that they were looking for. Had to go up himself on that occasion. And it'll be a turnover, Longhorns basketball. That was a tough, fast break. Uh, Felix and, and Marley were too close together on that right side of the court. I'm not sure why uh, Felix passed the ball so late. He had two feet in the key. He should have just gone up. It was, He's a big been a great unit move. as well, Von He's a big unit. He is a big boy. And uh, Coach Perry's taking him off after that. They're having a brief conversation, a bit of a chuckle. Sims looks to go baseline. Give us good, good defense on that occasion. But the triple, thank you very much, Eric Davis Jr. And Smart running onto the floor and getting around his man. Texas making a, a, a doing a good job of getting that ball into the post and then kicking out for those open shots. They're stepping momentum threes. And they're the best type. Dinong will have the last shot if they decide to take it and wait that long. Jumper is good. Thank you very much from Josh Oswald. Four, three, two. Hezzy, pull up. Maybe a foul. Oh, I no. think it might be. Oh, no. You asked them to give us something, and they've given us something, but to the other teammate. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ash That's is, all I could say. He's oh, seen a ghost, no. Ash. He has oh, seen no. a ghost. Just let that one play out. <laughs> Oh, well, that's basketball, huh? You got to take it. You got to take it. Andrew Jones will go to the line. Nails the first one. Before that call, I was going to make comment of Josh Oswald for all the young kids watching that. He caught that ball in a stance. Great shot fake. He used his eyes to advantage. Got that player up defensively, and uh, that was a hard one dribble pull up. I know the pull up's gone from the game, but that's a great play, and I wanted to come back. High percentage for him. All three made from Andrew Jones. Pushes the lead out to 19. That is a bit demoralizing for the Danny Nong Rangers. It is a 19 point game, 82 to 83. Thoughts on that third quarter, Ash? Well, as expected, Texas come out. Pressure was up. That famous Havoc defense was right there. Uh, offensively, they, Texas got the ball into the paint. They went to, it was always going to be tough for Dan to defend both Bumba and Osakowski straight away. And they did a great job of the ball entering the post and then coming out to the shooters. Uh, we talked about it earlier. Bumba tried to reseal on Big Juicy, number five. Uh, that, reseal, that reseal action didn't happen again. I think he learned his lesson the first time. But those live ball turnovers really hurt Dan Ong. They were able to stretch that lead out to 15 early on in the piece. And from there, Dan Ong's just been, you have to use all their energy trying to catch up. I just noticed there, Matt, that Darren was out there. Darren Perry, the coach of Dan Ong, was out talking to the referees for a good 40 seconds there. He was not happy with that last call. And he was pointing at the scoreboard, basically saying, it's an exhibition game. What are we doing, guys? Give us something. Give us something, and do we really need that call at the end? I must admit, though, the referees have been very good this game. And a tough one for them as well. It's hard to pick up on the field. Two different sides coming with really different uh, levels of physicality and ideas of, of the rules in the game, especially coming from a fever and a college aspect. And absolutely. They've, they've probably never seen such big athletes with that type of uh, athleticism and, and uh, 
palm span. Like, we're seeing this, obviously, for the first time. I was lucky enough to uh, be in the States and be a part of a Division One coaching staff. It took me three years to get used to it. Now I've been home for seven months. Again, I'm going back and going, wow, look at these specimens. They, they have genetically hit the jackpot, some of these guys, and they've got big futures. They've got big futures. No doubt about that. Some quick stats heading into the fourth and final quarter. Osikowski's got 15 for Texas, Bumba 14, and Jones 13. 23 for Jackson for the Rangers, eight to Gibkus. Jackson also has seven boards, and the Longhorns shooting an incredible 13 of 25 from range. That is 52% on 25 triples. That is insane shooting from range. And again, Matt, the pressure is up for this last quarter. Texas is everywhere right now, locked into those hips, talking and moving. So the Rangers, Lang, didn't play much, if at all, in the third quarter. Tough shot, but feeling it after nailing one earlier. Sorry, no. Mitch Riggs, that's his first basket for the game, I think. That's what he does. He's a three-point shooter. He hasn't really had many attempts tonight, so it's good to see him release that one. Trying to go again from range was Eric Davis Jr. Oh, almost the big dunk from Jericho Sims. He wanted to get the crowd off there. Set up a little bit excited there. I know he missed that, but I love that from Jericho right there. Freshman trying to make his presence felt. And I'm sure Coach Smart loves the fact he's trying to dunk on people. That was almost a Blake Griffin style throw it into the basket on top of somebody. So no Jackson on the floor for the Rangers. Let's see how they decide to play with him sitting out. Down a single digits on the shot clock. All looking to create. Got to get up a shot. Somehow found Page falling out of bounds. If he hit that, I would have got up out of my chair. That would have been impressive. That was a tough catch. Texas running the break, as they've done all game. They push the ball up the floor, and it gives them a lot of time to set up their offense in the half court. They're doing a great job pushing that ball. They're getting there, even with their shooters not set up, the point guard's getting there, allowing him, time, allowing him plenty of time to run their offense. And they're doing a great job of executing, getting the ball through hands. Not quite on that occasion, and it's Page that comes away with the ball. So a minute and a half already gone, wide open all. Wouldn't hit one that he probably should have. And Sims comes away with the rebound. And that may have looked like a bit of a double dribble, but not called. Little pick and roll. They go upstairs and lost control of a ball was James Banks the third. Good hands by Chunty All there. Uh, if, he, if he wasn't there, I've got a feeling that one might have been a dunk as well. So coming in is Jace Febris. He's been very, very good. Isn't that, that's your guy, Matt. That is, that's my man. That's your man. You've been loving his stuff tonight. Might have something to do with the hair as well. That is style. <laughs> A man can dream. Anyways, ooh, trying to rip through the forest inside. Great hustle from all. And <laughs> Rangers probably hoping that that foul didn't get caught. It was definitely there. It was Oswald that drew it. But uh, Jordan Page was going to go away and maybe give the crowd something. Can he get upstairs, Page? He can. He can. He can. I've seen it. I don't know where he's at right now. I tell you what, it, that's, he's the type of kid, though. We're talking about him right now. He's walking the ball up the court, and then all of a sudden, he just goes whack. He's a special player. He's made for big moments. Hopefully, he can bring us that big moment right now. So not quite from the perimeter. Again, Riggs. Pull up in transition is good, and that three-point shooting has been unreal. Andrew Jones, the shooting sleeve doing wonders for him. He's put on a bit of a display tonight. It's a pleasure to watch good shooters, especially with great form. He's doing everything right. Love it. And <laughs> bit of jelly there from Jones. He couldn't quite get he, it to go. He's just said, Matt Nash, I'm tired of shooting threes. Let's get to the basket yep. now. As we see, Paige probably took a hit on the way through. No foul call. Unlucky and there's there. my man, Febris, comes away with the ball. Here's Jones. Feeling it a little bit at the moment. It's a great handle, but couldn't quite make the pass. Good play all right, over Chancy. All. Here we go. Oh. Oh, come on, Chancy. Give us a dunk. <laughs> Got a little bit excited, but gave us nothing. Nothing. He, he went to wind up and hit us with a nice fundamental right hand layup. Still goes down in the scorer's book as two points. As we see, Sim showing us a lovely touch on the perimeter. You'll notice both teams have gone for that high post entry with the uh, weak side flex cut. It's been working well for both teams. Oh, Geordie Page is starting to show that 
special talent he's got. Jeez, he's really letting it fly at the moment. Lane comes from the heavens, gets a tip on that one, but it'll be Texas ball. Yeah, let's be honest, it's what Geordie Page does. He is instant offense, just add water. So, coach, give him some more water. So it'll be Sims to inbound the ball to Matt Coleman. Just under six and a half to play here for Texas. 19 points the difference. Looking to push this lead out and they will not put their foot off the pedal. They've been, as the lob comes inside, they've been going at it all day and a great finish from James Banks the third. He'll take the two, he'll go to the strike to add an extra. For the post players that are sitting in the, in the crowds tonight, they're getting a great tutorial on how to seal and how to post up. You'll notice the Texas guys are getting low on a stance. Both hands are up making that L shape. It's hard to defend when they get those big bodies in the paint. And Tim Lang, Liam Gickus and Juicy, they're, they're having trouble getting around and being able to get a hand in the lane. They've had to play from behind. And is that Tim Lang? Is that five fouls for Timmy? He does take a seat. And you really start to understand when you watch games like these why some people really prefer to watch the college game over the NBA just because of the ball movement and the really, I want to say pure basketball but the, that these teams play. I'll say the effort. Just to look at the speed that these guys are playing in. Man, it's fun to watch. I'll be honest, Matt. I want my man Jackson on the court. Where is he? I need some highlights. I need that energy from Danny Nong. The crowd are waiting for something big to happen. It's just been a little while. That's a ho -ho! Just as I say wow it. Wow-wee! <laughs> you can see the reaction from James Banks the third. It was, I think Jericho Sims might have heard me. He How? put him in the spin cycle and then two-hand post rise your man, Gibkins. Yeah, Coach Smart, that's the calmest he's been all night. Oh my lord. That's an ESPN top 10 play. No doubt oh, about he wanted that. He wanted the block at the other end. That was a that was amazing fundamentals on the spin and then poor Gibkiss. A score. He's not gonna live that one down, I'll and tell then you that a much. Turnover for Danny Nong. The reaction that was my favourite was running down the court, James Banks, his teammate, puts his hands over his head saying, Oh my god. That's not a bad way to start off the tour with a move like that. If Even that the, crowd, the crowd is stunned right now. They're, they're like, wow. If that doesn't encourage you to watch more Texas basketball, I don't know what will. Postal, they've just struggled after that. The players trying to get back on board. That was insane. He's gone with the jump hook there. I just suggest going back to the, to the spin move dunk. Pretty effective, if you ask me. Some great defensive pressure from Coleman on that occasion. And again, four minutes to go, four and a half minutes to go in this last quarter. And that's the intensity on defense that they're given. Um, uh, just a tweet coming through, a shout out to Bitter White Guy, who's posted about my love for to Febris's hair. It's spectacular. Oh, we're loving it here. We're, it is oh, a thing, thing of absolute beauty. How, much, how long do you reckon it takes in the morning to get that thing spruced up? I think he, just, up? he wakes up like that. It oh, just so. wakes up and just pops straight up and bobs your uncle. Oh, I hope so. I hope all the uh, American people out there got that uh, slang term, Bob's your uncle. You probably have no idea what I'm talking That's about. Right. But <laughs> oh, get that out of here. There he is. There he is. Febris knocks it down. Danny Big Nong block. keeps attacking, though. Danny Nong keeps attacking. That's what they've got to do, these young kids. They've got to find a way. Find a way. So a bit of... Uh, Bit of miscommunication about what you can do on the inbound pass. That is a big body to try and pass. That around. is a daunting task for Not Nottia right there. Look at the length guarding the inbound. He's active too. And he jumps up and down. James Banks. He's everywhere trying to make that pass. They're covering that corner pass. They Just finally get it in. Get it in. Give Give it. Oh, second chance. I like it. Kick it out. Oh, Garrett's not passing this. He's back in. I got my oh, wish. That is a great pass. Fantastic offense. How pretty was that? I liked Marley being doll. I did. He kept moving on the weak side, and there comes the layup. That's a hard foul. He needs to get his body in front, try and take that charge there. Febris with a good attack on the rim on that occasion. Matt, not only do we have... Here's the replay. Here's the replay of Sims. Spin. Get some. Have a look at that. Wow. Oh. 
<laughs> that was that was a pretty play. I like that. Not only we do, uh, not only do we have some listeners from uh, America, and we've got we've got local people listening. We've also got one listening from New Zealand. So a bit of shout out to Tim Rapp. He's been texting me all night. <laughs> Get off my case about it, Tim. We've got you. We've put you online. All right, he, he owes me for this one. <laughs> Maybe uh, next year, next time you tour together, is on him. Oh, he doesn't have a choice there. <laughs> As we see. Two free throws from Febris. And the scoreline is 93 to 76. Four minutes to play here in this game. It's been entertaining, there's no doubt about that. The fans will be very happy that they came out on their Tuesday night to watch this game. A little bit of a turnout series there from Danny Nock, but Texas just locked in on the hips and great help from the uh, the screeners uh, defender right there. Danny Nock didn't get anything out of it. Three-point bomb, rattles around, doesn't go. Good rebound from Nadia Odigi. Good box out as well. They're jumping all over the backs there, so that was well done. Wern with the ball, kicks back to the wing. I think it was a foot on the line, deep two, not quite. Coleman comes away with it. I've liked Marley's game tonight. He's been aggressive. He's been strong. He hasn't backed off from the fight. Oh, that was a great a travel. Yeah. Great defense there by Garrett Jackson. Does it on both ends of the court. Very impressive for Jackson. I'm guessing Roy, uh, yeah, Royce Ham Jr. That size as a senior in high school, he probably would have been able to bully his way into the key. But now he's dealing with some grown men. It's a little bit harder to just get that ball and go straight to the basket. And uh, one of the few basketball players wearing ankle socks on the court. He's channeling his inner Damien Martin and he's pulled out the ankle socks. I was just about to say, he's clearly been watching Perth Wildcat, uh, Perth Wildcats highlights. Damien Martin, Damien Martin would be very proud right now. Bring it back, I say, one bring of the, it back. One of the favourite sons of uh, Australian basketball seems to be a guy that everybody likes to watch, Damien Martin. And I'll tell you this, thank God for Gary Jackson tonight. He's uh, he's held Danny on together. Good stuff. So a turnover and Danny Nong ball under three minutes to go. And a timeout on the floor to Coach Perry from Danny Nong. Last three minutes. Who's impressed you from Texas that you didn't? Of course, we expect Bumba to come out and play really, really well. We expected Coleman, some of these freshmen. But who impressed you that, you know, you hadn't heard as much about here? Well, I'll be honest, going into uh, yesterday's Texas practice, I didn't know too much about the players. But the one guy that did stand out with his energy, with his leadership, was Osikowski. And tonight, he has just delivered the same thing. He's just delivered the same thing. Plenty of energy out here. And uh, you can see he's got real leadership qualities. I think that uh, might be an AFL man out in the crowd there. I, I believe it's Corey Maynard. Who, uh, who Cairns player? Uh, he did play with Cairns, but he just debuted with the Melbourne uh, Demons on the weekend against... Uh, oh, sorry, it could have been last weekend against GWS Giants. He, uh, he was actually the first person to kick a goal in AFL and also score a three in NBL, so not a bad record to have. And quick trivia question. Only person to win both an NBL championship and an AFL premiership? Dean Brogan? Correct. Oh. Bang, bang. We're on the ball tonight. What we do I win? The ball tonight. What do I win? Oh, 10 points. Don't know what that's going to get you, but 10 points. There you go, mate. Well, that just shows you it's great to have uh, Maynard in the crowd here. It, it, it's attracted all the young kids to this game, and, and, I, and I can speak on behalf of everyone at Dean. It's been an absolute pleasure having the Texas Longhorns here. Uh, hopefully these kids, these are, these are uh, lifelong memories that they get to have. And if Texas is lucky enough to have those NBA players in the future, which I'm sure they will from what we've seen tonight, this is something these young kids in Australia, they, they won't forget. So under three minutes to play. Michael Wern in the pick and roll with Jackson. Great no look finder, Jackson. That was a bit fancy, just a little bit fancy. Let's just hope Garrett Jackson brings that same intensity this Friday because if he does, Hobart's in trouble. So a bit of upcourt pressure from Nien Nong. They're looking to roll the dice in this last three minutes. It is only 13 points. Turn around, Febris couldn't hit it. Jackson be, just as my ball. I'll be honest, I was scared for Nadia there. He was sitting in the paint waiting to be dunked on. Thank God that they pulled up for the, uh, the jumper right there. Wern coming off again, going the right hand pull up is no good. Nadia Odigi in there, but tipped out. And away come the Longhorns, 2.15 to play. That occasion it was Jacob Young looking over to his coach, 
Shaka Smart. I'm loving both teams have got their benches. Obviously, Danong has Garrett Jackson on. Obviously, Darren Perry's, uh, Perry's listening to our call and uh, fulfilled our wishes. But both teams have the young kids and letting them play it out right here. It's good to see. So a foul on the rebound as Sims look to go to that spin again. But I think the uh, Rangers might have just taken some warning from the last play and the last time he did that when it subs out. And in comes Luke Hughes. You're starting to see Texas, all that, that strength and conditioning they've been doing over the summer, that endurance is starting to slow down a bit. They've brought the intensity all night. Uh, it's been a pleasure to watch, but let's see if they can finish off for the last two minutes. Jackson, little hesitation, dribble to the crossover, and <laughs> between the legs, and the bank shot. Somebody Jeezy. guard that man. Jeezy can play. Somebody guard that man. Now the trap coming. It's back to just 11 points. They're really looking to roll the dice. Maybe too little, too late, though, for the Rangers. Under a minute and a half to go. He saw Big Juicy's frame waiting in the paint. He said, nah, -uh. no don't thanks. want any of that. Down a four, then a three, two. Looking to go inside. Sims got to get it up. Shot clock violation. Good result for Dean on, but it took another 24 seconds off the clock. Texas, it's only the third time tonight they've had the shot clock violation, so they've adapted well. They've moved the ball. When they go back to that 30-second shot clock, they're going to be absolutely fine. And offenses look great tonight. Again, the ball's moving, bodies are moving. Hard to To get a quick look, the Rangers, ball stripped out of bounds. Rangers will keep it. A basket here will just make it interesting heading into the last minute. I think it's time to put Jordy Page back on. Add some Warner, get that instant offense in. See if he can't do a Tracy McGrady. We did mention it earlier, but Odigy turns it over right when they didn't want it, then gives away a foul to stop the fast break. Not a bad foul in the end. Starting to get a little scrappy. Boys are tired out there. Some poor decisions made, being made, but the, both teams have just they're thrown it all out there right now. It's been a hectic pace, this game. Really up and down stuff. I oh, know, I would have been stuffed in the first 30 seconds, let's be honest. <laughs> I would have been asking for a sub. Onto the fourth wind within the first minute. That's right. So, inside the last minute now. Under 14 left on the clock for the Longhorns, and that is a reach-in foul from Biondolo. And we have 53.6. Shot clock resets to 14 with the foul on that occasion. It's an 11-point ball game. Looking to create something here, the Longhorns. Jackson with the steal. Something for the fans to take home. A big two-hand flush. Cock back. Thank you very much. Garrett Jackson is on something tonight. I'm loving it. It's very exciting. Anybody in Tasmania, I don't know how many viewers we've got in Tasmania, but get down on Friday night because he hopefully will again put on a show. Well, Hobart would know Garrett Jackson well. Obviously, last year he played with Northwest Tassie. They're probably not uh, not ha too happy to see him this week. Good effort on the rebound on that occasion from Luke Hughes. As a, as a young kid, if you're playing in the last 30 seconds and the game is out, you're not going to win it. My, uh, my motto is get him up. <laughs> get him up. Get him up. Let it fly. Perry's called a timeout. With 20 seconds to go, 11-point game. He clearly wants to draw something up that they want to implement on Friday night. I don't think Coach Smart realises that they do have a final this Friday night. He's looking down at the bench, a little confused, thinking... What's going on? There's no 11-point uh, plays in basketball. I don't know what you're drawing up here, champ. But fantastic job by Texas. Let's see if they can uh, keep him out of a score right here. So 20.1 on the clock, nine seconds left on the shot clock. It's been an absolute pleasure to watch Texas tonight. They've been very impressive, and Dean have taken it right up to them. Yeah, not a bad job. Only 11 points to uh, down right now. They've been they've been battling all night. What I love though is they haven't stopped giving it 100. percent For anyone that was here live seeing this, that pressure they came out with from the get go. 
that's tough to adapt to. But they've done a great job. That young brigade brought it back at the end of that second quarter. Uh, and again, at the start of the third quarter, Texas ramped it up again. And then Danny Nong's drawn it back again. So they've done a good job. Unfortunately, when you get a game after 20 points and you're playing athletes with this type of skill and this type of athleticism, it is always tough to come back from a 20-point lead. And you would have thought Shaka Smart maybe just put a couple of his walk-ons on, but uh, nothing. As they look to go, the lob had got drawn up, hit the ring. Get him up, get him up. Odigy. Come on. Gave it to Jackson. Ga oh, I thought Garrett was going to show the young kids how to do it. There you go, Marley. Deep three, not quite. Big rebound and a... Just making sure that he didn't get crushed on that occasion. Luke Hughes keeping uh, Royce Ham Jr. up. I'll be honest, Matt. I, I said that the motto for that last minute is get him up, but I think you've got to live through the, through the mantra of uh, shoot when you're hot, shoot to get hot, right? And these Texas guys have definitely lived by that tonight. Mm, very much so. And I get, are they still shooting at 50%? Because it's clearly working for them. It is definitely right up there. They've had an impeccable game from range. 48, so very close to. Not bad. That is 14 of 29 from deep. And 11 from 14 from the free throw line. They've been very solid. Fairly even stats across the board. Points in the paint actually heavily favouring uh, the Dandenong Rangers, which comes a bit of a surprise with Bumble lining up on the other side of the floor. All right, here we go, Marley. Four, three, Wants to two, dance on one. Him. Get yours, get yours, son. Oh, come on. Give <laughs> us something, Marley. Bit of an anticlimactic finish there, but all in all, a very exciting and entertaining game between Dandenong and Texas. The final score, the Longhorns 96 to the Rangers 84. Ash, your thoughts on that game as a whole? Firstly, Texas, wow, they're in for a big year. Any of the Texas Longhorn fans listening in, that was a pleasure to watch. I'm sure you guys already know what's in store for your 2017, 2018 year, but that was fantastic to watch. And where it began again is defensively. That famous 2-2-1 press that Shaka Smart had at VCU and brought over to Texas, it's tough to get past. It's tough to get past. And those Big 12 opponents and non-conference uh, scheduled opponents, they're in for some long nights up against Texas, especially with some of the length that they've brought in. You look at guys like Muhammad Bumba, Jericho Sims, James Bank the third. Uh, even some of those wings have got length. Andrew Johns, obviously he's a he's a their sophomore. He's a returning leading scorer for them. The intensity and the leadership that he's going to offer to this team was noticeable tonight. But again, I go back to Dylan Osakowski. How good's he to watch? Could do it all as a big unit as well. Osakowski, six foot nine. 245 pounds and he did it all they're trying to get a photo on the floor with the rangers and the longhorns but uh, the crowd has tried to mob a number of the longhorns players we'll quickly run through some of the stats for you at home jackson from ninong an impeccable 31 points but he had no help nobody else got over double digits he also finished with eight rebounds and four assists two steals he was just everywhere out there for texas it was jones 16 points osikowski 15 bumba 14 uh, Jones also had six rebounds, Bumba five, Jones five assists, so he was playing really well. Osakowski, three steals. And uh, my man, Febris, very impressive game from him. 12 points, three rebounds, and a block. And number one in the haircut department, so we love that. A clear number one, a clear winner, no doubt about that. Well, that's about all from us. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the coverage, and uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for your viewership. It's a, a term I've got from uh, Adam Gilchrist who's a, a famous cricketer I've joined I'm, I'm on that bandwagon I'm on the viewership bandwagon right, cheers Gilly uh, thank you Ash for joining me that was a pleasure to be here I enjoyed it hopefully we get we're back here next year against the big time opponent very much so it's uh, been a great night here at Deenong Basketball Stadium the Longhorns Texas Longhorns 96 Deenong Rangers 84 once again thanks for joining us and have a good night